YouTube and welcome back to the Loose Transistor Show. Today, I've got something a little bit different and special for you guys. Um, I've been racking my brain for the past few days trying to figure out how I'm going to knock off about a millimeter off the stack on the Hive build. If you've been following along, uh, I found out that there just isn't quite enough clearance for me to fit the VTX inside of that stack. So I need to drop about a millimeter from the standoffs to get everything to fit inside of the frame, which I have right here. Um, so I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and some people suggested uh, cutting it with hot wire and uh, all sorts of different things. And then I remembered seeing something about how people sharpen um, chisels and wood cutting tools and they use a piece of glass because glass is almost perfectly flat. So I figured, hey, there's an idea. So here's what we're gonna do today. We are going to shorten these standoffs, which I put on this plate by about one millimeter. And the way we're gonna do that is using this glass pane, a 400 grit sandpaper, and actually the bottom plate from the Hive. This is a second bottom plate. I have two Hive frames uh, just for spare parts and that sort of thing, but I'm gonna be using this one right here. So let's uh, get cracking and see if we can't drop about a millimeter off this these standoffs. So the idea here is basically to tape down this thing to this flat surface as tight as I possibly can and as straight as I possibly can and then very carefully and gently sand it down using this. So let me grab some tape here. <clears throat> so we got our friendly masking tape. Hopefully it's uh, strong enough to hold this stuff, I'm not actually sure. Okay, so we got one down. So far everything looks good. You shouldn't need a lot of, uh, of uh, sandpaper either. I only had a little bit, but this should do for me. Try and tighten it as tight as I possibly can. Okay, that feels pretty flat to me. There's a little raised area there, but it's not bad. It's feeling pretty flat to me. So we have our flat surface and we have our standoff. So let's see where we're at on the standoffs. And I'm measuring both standoffs together because uh, it doesn't really matter. I just wanna know how big we are so that we can keep track of how much we are losing. So total it's about 14.13 uh, on the stack. So we're gonna start uh, going to town here and I just need to figure out what side. So this side here is the side that we wanna wear out. So I'm just gonna put it right there and I'm gonna try to keep as steady and even as possible pressure, keep even pressure, and do some circles. Don't need a lot of pressure, just enough to start going. Try to spread the pressure evenly around the board so that you're like pushing in the middle and pushing all around. So I can see that a little bit of material is already appearing there, so it is working. All right, let's take a look. So we did remove some material and let's see how much material we removed from the stack so far. Okay, so it looks like we might have done it here, guys, and uh, actually gotten the stand-ups to be a little bit shorter. I'm not sure if you can see the surface there, but it is sanded down. So I'm just gonna check them out here and remove them from the, the plate and see what's going on here. Make sure that they're all the same size and everything else, and we're, we're close enough for comfort here. Okay, so we got all our pins that we sanded down here. In the first glance, they all seem to be exactly the same size. That is great. So we were actually able to keep them very, very even. Uh, I will try to show you here how even they are. See that? Perfectly even, all of them. 
So I think that worked out. I'm just gonna do a quick test here by fitting it on to the frame here, really quick. We'll just do a quick test here. I'll put the PDD down. And if you've been following along, this is the, the Kiwi F4 PDB that I have here. And now we'll throw the FC on and see if it uh, if it fits nicely. So there you go, folks. It works out pretty well. I'm probably gonna send it down a little bit more because I still wanna drop it a couple of, uh, just like a little half millimeter or something like that. I still have some space that I can play around with there and that'll give me better clearance for the, uh, for the, <clears throat> for the VTX. So I hope you guys enjoyed this technique. I fucking cannot believe that this worked and maintain the evenness all throughout. So this is a good little trick if you're looking to drop the height of your, uh, standoffs and still keep them all nice and level. I'm pretty confident this is pretty nice and level as it is. So thanks for watching guys. Subscribe because there'll be more stuff like this coming up. Thanks for watching.